देख रहे हैं सुदर्शन न्यूज टुडे बीन हियर विद यू ऑल मेक्स मी फील वेरी यंग मेक्स मी फील लाइक आई एम जस्ट अ कॉलेज स्टूडेंट हु इज अबाउट टू एंजॉय लाइफ बट सो सॉरी टू से इट्स नॉट regarding our freshers they were hesitant to come up to the stage but they had enough courage to come up later on if i were a fresher too i would have hidden somewhere behind those trees keep it up good with due respect to uh, today's host and our guest of honors miss yang pi yang pi kunya Like she is claiming she is a mother, but like she is still very young. Actually, president of NWO and Raj Rajesh Rana Singh, uh, Rajesh Rana G, director, Plan International India chapter. All the distinguished guests, my dear students. and all the well wishers of the students who have gathered here this very wonderful evening indeed i am blessed i should say i thank the officials of dansu for having me for having accorded me the privilege to be part of the 32nd celebrate freshers day celebration thank you to be very honest if it were not for a students program i would not have come this far to participate in this program but i have come up here this far to delhi from nagaland just because the students of today are the future leaders of tomorrow very soon you will be taking over the reign of our people you will be the leaders who will be spearheading our people so i just want to share if you thought of you, thought my thoughts with you a piece of advice with you all because it would be wrong on my part if i don't give any advice and if you go to the right, wrong track and if something happens i would be a blame Densu, 32 years uh, since the inception of Densu, Delhi East Nagaland Students Union. When we were here, it was East Nagaland Students Union Delhi. Now it's other way around. Since it, since its inception, 32 years ago, had produced many great leaders from amongst you, bureaucrats. technocrats many renowned personalities both in social private and government are taking so i am proud to say that densu has been a blessing for the people of western nagaland in particular and the nagas in general so i'd like to request the uh, students here in delhi not to break the trend the hope that the people of nagaland have on you the good record that the densu had maintained so far among the people the little piece of advice that i'd like to share with you today is that to be a very successful person to be to achieve something great first and the foremost step that you need to understand is that you have to know yourself first you have to understand yourself understanding other people is not a very difficult task you just observe what people does you try to understand them you try to explore their potentiality but the problem is do you try to understand or observe what you are because only through your understanding of yourself that is going to lead you 
forward. Not the understand, not understanding other people, but understanding yourself. Because God has gifted each and every one of you with different potentiality, with different talents, with different gifts. So if you can explore yourself, if you can understand yourself, and if you can identify your potential, if you can identify what gift has been, what talent has, has been gifted to you by God, you can achieve many things. Say for example, some of your friends might be very good in one field, but it doesn't mean that you will be good in that same field if you just follow up. But first you have to know your potential and what you are good at. If only with that, you can identify yourself, you can achieve great things. And to identify yourself, to know yourself, you cannot do it alone. You'll, you'll know yourself only through God. So in whatever you do, let God walk ahead of you. And have a clear conscience, clear thoughts. Like our previous speaker has already spoken. Don't let your thinking be confined. Let it be broad. Because we all know that all that any person can achieve, all that any all that a person fails to achieve will be because of uh, uh, is only through the direct or the direct results of his own, of their own thoughts. So give your thoughts clear, make it broad, not confined. Confined can never lead you anywhere. And we all know. And I also try to remind you, as a student, that if you are here to achieve something, if you are here to become someone responsible, you don't get anything for free. You don't get anything for free. Because we all know that for every achievement, there is a price that you have to pay. And for every victory, there is a sacrifice that you have to make to, to be victorious. And you want to know what the prizes are? The prizes are, you have to be self-disciplined. You have to be disciplined. Sincere and dedicated to whatever you are doing or whatever you are pursuing, that is the prize. Because it is only through the discipline that you will be able to have a self-control over yourself. You will exactly know what to do, what not to do, where to go, where not to go, or where to spend your time. Because without discipline, everything will be heavier for you. So what I'd like to tell you all is that sacrifice your few years and control and restrain yourself for committing a blunder, for, for, enjoy, for enjoyment. Just a few years, you sacrifice them. And have a lifetime of happiness. Or you're going to enjoy for a few years and have a lifetime of problem. It's up to you. So you understand that. And if you live according to that, it will be a that will be the only blessing that you will get. And one thing I'd like to tell you all is that actually in a student program, inviting a politician like myself is not right. But me, since me myself being a former office bearer of this union, I came. Because as a politician, we are, we, we are not we, we, we should say that we are not fully, we don't have the complete knowledge of any particular subject to tell you. We come from anywhere. 
we may come from that side or from this side or from back side or from anywhere. So what can we teach you? Because I will not say the word, but then like I know what people talk about politicians. So what do you expect to learn from us? All we can provide you is that how to lead the people, people. Because our job, honestly, it's not to go viral or something. Our job is to give to people what they ask for and at the same time to make them believe that whatever we give them is what they have asked for. So you think properly. So for your future, to enlighten you with your future perspective. As a politician, we can always, even now I feel like talking about my party to you, but then like I would be wrong to do so. So I'm not doing, I'm controlling myself. I'm restraining myself from doing that. So, in the future, try to invite someone through whom you can learn something. Like a brother here, Rajesh Rana. He's the right person. And about the civil society, if someone has to explain you about a situation or and what president is there. And me, I'm just someone. <laughs> so I'm not not nothing much to say now. So I wish the then so all the best in the future and the worst in the worst. And thank you so much for your time. Thank you.